don't regret things that have happened in my life, but there is this one moment where I wish I could get a redo. Hey there, I'm Robert Kennedy, the third Art King 3, that's me. And in this video, I wanna share with you a quick story and three lessons I learned along the way. Now, currently I work with aspiring speakers, aspiring storytellers, leaders who need to deliver critical messages with confidence, but that's not exactly where I started. You see, out of college, I had this job in the mental health field and I worked overnight, 11 to seven. I would go into work at about 10.30 and return home 7.30, 7.45 the next morning. And every night when I was driving into work, I would pass this building. It was dark, but it would call my name. And when I was coming home in the morning, I would drive by the building. It was lit up by this time, and you could tell there was some activity happening in there, and it would call my name. Robert, Robert. One day I was coming home from work and I just couldn't take it anymore. And I decided I was gonna stop. And I parked my car across the street, across the street and went into this building. It was a radio station. And I went in, went to the front desk and I said, hey, can I speak to the owner, please? The receptionist said, who should I tell him is, is here? I said, tell him Robert Kennedy is here. And she laughed, she called him. He came out a few minutes later and we had a conversation. This was an old AM radio station and I don't know why it kept calling my name. I kept hearing it call me every day. And after finally going in and speaking to the owner, he gave me a job interning for the news anchor at that radio station. So lesson number one, sometimes you're gonna hear a voice. Sometimes there's something that is calling you and when you listen to it, that's the only way that you can be rewarded. Part two of the story. I started working with the news anchor for the station. I would come home from work, sleep for a couple of hours, and then get into the station for about 10 or 10.30 in the morning to learn everything that I could about radio. It was exciting. I loved it. And I, I didn't even feel tired when I got there. I just was so excited to get in, learn what I could, learn about the different segments and what it was like to be a news anchor. And there were times that I was on the radio right alongside the news anchor. Lesson number two, you know you found something in your life when you're just excited about doing it, no matter what's happening. I was tired, I was functioning on two hours of sleep, but I just couldn't wait to get into the station every day to learn new things. So is there something in your life that just makes you super excited when you think about doing it. What is that thing? Now here's the third part of the story and that redo moment. The news anchor, his name was Larry. He came to me one day and he said, hey Rob, listen, I've got a job offer in another state and I think I'm gonna take it. And what I would like to do is recommend your name as news anchor to the owner of the station. Think you're up for it? Whoa. I freaked out just a little bit. I started feeling this huge lump in my throat. Yeah, I really started to freak out quite a bit. Now, the owner came to me or called me a couple of days later and said, hey, Rob, Larry recommended you to do this. We think you can do it. Here's what you'll need to do. You'll need to be into the station at 3 a.m. in the morning. Get ready for the 5 a.m. broadcast. We've got another broadcast at 11 a.m. You've got to do some different things. And by the time you're done, it'll be 1 p.m. And oh, by the way, the pay is $6 an hour. Here's the problem. I had an apartment. I had a car. I had bills to pay. And I worked overnight, so I just didn't see how all of this was gonna work. And to be honest, I freaked out quite a bit. Yeah, that's my redo moment. If I had to do it again, I would have told him yes and figured out how to make it work. You see, here's what happens in our lives. A lot of times we're presented with opportunities and they don't always make sense to us. So we freak out and we move in another direction. When the truth is, sometimes in life, you're better off asking the question, how might this be possible? How can I make it work? Instead of trying to feel like you've gotta have all of the answers 
and it's gotta be perfect. You see, one moment in your life can make a difference like it did for me. My career is different. Maybe I've ended up in the same place I would have. I don't know the answer, but I do know that I think about that moment quite a bit. In the next video, I wanna share with you another part of my story and some more lessons that I've learned. How will you know when the next video is coming out? Ooh, subscribe to the channel. That's what you gotta do. Subscribe to the channel. You can also join me in the Storytellers Growth Lab on Facebook, all right? Or you can go to storytellersgrowthlab.com. Here's the big thing I need you to do today. If you look in the description below, you'll see a link that I'll share with you about how you can develop your own signature story. It's a free five-day email course about how you can discover, develop, and ultimately deliver a signature story that will help you to impact, influence, and inspire. The link is in the description below, so go ahead and sign up for that free five-day email course about how to learn to tell your signature story, and I'll see you in the next video.